Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel and today is the first lesson of learning Korean with Sebastian. Before we start learning, I want you to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified for any future videos that I will be posting. And if you have any comments, please leave it in the comments below. So without further ado, let's start learning! So today, we're going to start with the greetings. Greetings are very important when there are persons older than you walking by and then looking at you. You don't want to be rude and just pass by. So you want to say hello. Hello in Korean is... Annyeonghaseyo. Please repeat that with me, please. Annyeonghaseyo. One more time. Annyeonghaseyo. One last time. Annyeonghaseyo. You just learned one word. Please repeat that with me. Annyeonghaseyo. One more time. Annyeonghaseyo. But there's a difference when you're talking to a person older than you and talking to a person younger than you. So let's example hello. Hello is annyeonghaseyo when you're talking to a person older than you. But when it's younger than you, you want to say annyeong. Say that with me, please. Annyeong. One more time. Annyeong. But if you're talking to a person in the same age as you, you can also say the same word. Annyeong. So you just learn another word. That will be annyeonghaseyo for the person older than you. And annyeong for a person younger than you. So now let's move on to how are you in Korean. How are you in Korean is gonna be chal chinesoyo. Please repeat that with me. Chal chinesoyo. One more time. Chal chinesoyo. One last time, chal chi nes so yo. You just learned another word, which is, repeat that with me, please. Chal chi nes so yo. One more time, chal chi nes so yo. But there's also a word when you can say when you're talking to a person in the same age and younger than you. You just remove the yo and you can just say, chal chi nes so. Repeat that with me, please. Chal chi nes so. One more time, chal chi ne so. Let's put this in the note, please. Yo, which means respect. When you're a Filipino, it means po. So please note that when you're talking to a person older than you, you put yo in the end of your sentence. So let's move on to good morning in Korean. Good morning will be cho un a chim. Repeat that with me, please. Cho. Un a chim. One more time. Cho un a chim. I often forget cho un a chim and I always say anyong aseyo instead of good morning. To remember this word, you say cho un and a chim. Cho un means good, a chim means morning. Cho un, good, a chim means morning. So you just learned another word which is called cho un a chim. Repeat that with me, please. Cho na chim. One more time. Cho na chim. But it's still the same when you're talking to a person younger than you and in the same age as you, and also when it's older than you. You just say the same word. Cho un a chim. This part you don't need to put you in the end. Now we're gonna learn by in Korean. By when you are leaving and the person is leaving is a difference. So when you are leaving, you're gonna say, Annyeong hi keseyo. Ke is the keyword here. Please remember the word ke. Now let's say that again. Annyeong hi keseyo. One more time. Annyeong hi keseyo. One last time. Annyeong hi keseyo. You just learned another word, which is Annyeong hi keseyo. One more time. Annyeong hi keseyo. One last time. Annyeong hi keseyo. But now there is a difference when you're talking to a person in the same age as you and younger than you. That will be 잘가. Say that with me, please. 잘가. 
To remember this word, you want to say chal, which is peacefully or good, and ka means go. So it means go peacefully. So that's how you remember chal ga. Now you just learn another word in informal, which is called chal ga. Repeat that with me, please. Chal ga. Now you're going to learn by in Korean when the person is going, not you, and the person is going. So this is the difference. An, yong, hi, ka, se, yo. Ka means go. But in the other per one, other by, you said ke. But now you said ha. That's the key word to remember. Repeat that with me, please. An, yong, hi, ka, se, yo. One more time. An, yong, hi, ka, se, yo. One last time. An, yong, hi, ka, se, yo. But now when you're talking to a person younger than you, it's the same thing. You say again, chal ga. So we just learned another word, which is an, yong, hi, ke, se, yo. So say that with me, please. An, yong, hi, ke, se, yo. One more time. An, yong, hi, ke, se, yo. And also, an, yong, hi, ka, se, yo. Add that with. Also, annyong hi ka se yo. Alright, so almost that's all for this video. First, before we start going away and also finishing this video, let's review what we just learned. We learned hello in Korean, which is annyong ha se yo. Repeat that with me, annyong ha se yo. And also, how are you in Korean, which is chal jines so yo. Repeat that with me, chal jines so yo. And also, good morning in Korean. Good morning will be chowun chim. Now, bye in Korean when you are going. Annyeong hi keseyo. One more time. Annyeong hi keseyo. When the person is going, Annyeong hi kaseyo. One more time. Annyeong hi kaseyo. But now let's turn when the person is younger than you and in the same age as you. Annyeong, hello means annyeong. One more time. Annyeong. How are you? Chai jineso. One more time. Chai jineso. Next is good morning. Chou na chim. One more time. Chou na chim. Next will be bye in Korean. Bye will be chai ga. And also when you are going and when the person is going is the same thing. Chai ga. So that's all for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and press the like button. Bye!